What an afternoon on the beach. How good is that? Got a restricted ball sinker there, 50 pound trace, and gang of six O's. There we go. Oh no. No, I got him. Got him. And already we've got a decent little feed together there. Well, that is a proper one. G'day guys and welcome to another Sammy Hitchkey fishing adventure. No prizes for guessing where I am today. We're on the beach here with my old man. We're gonna try and chase some big tailor as the sun goes down. It is dusk, the sun's just dipping behind the hills, so it is absolute prime time. We've got a westerly blowing and a nice little gutter behind us there. Got the Alvies out, gang hooks, and we're, uh, we're gonna soak a few baits. Now, massive shout out to Alvy. They've actually put up one of these Stealth 650 reels. They're brand new reels, up for grabs for one of you lucky guys. I'll tell you all the details on how to enter that competition at the end of this. Now I should also mention, very excited to test out the very first Stealth rod. This is the only one in existence right now. I get to test it out. So I'm super, super excited to put a bend in it. Hopefully I can hook onto something decent and uh, give it a real test out. But it is nice and light, super light to go with the Stealth reel. Uh, that is one thing you will notice with the Stealth. They are deadly light. Look at that. Balances out nicely. Nice fast action, should be able to cast a mile. It is a far sight different to the old form of Alvy. Give us a look, Tez. Oh, he's tucking into some dinner. Now, Tez has got his, his old reel. How old is this one? Well, actually, the reel is my dad's. That's my dad's reel, and he used it for all of his life, and I've used it for all my life. You can see in there, it used to have one of those big hoops on the front, the real old school Elvis. It's got a new spool because the Bakelite spool finally gave up. And uh, it hasn't got the little return mechanism. It's even got Elvi printed on the side there. Can't see that on the, uh, on the recent models, but she still catches fish, and it's caught thousands and thousands of fish, literally. <laughs> I believe him too. I believe him. I've seen the photos. Well, there you go. We've got the, the new school and the old school. And it's an absolute privilege to be here with my old man who taught me how to fish with an Alvi. I cut my teeth fishing the beaches, so it's good to be back here with the old man. Uh, fingers crossed we can show you some decent tailor as well. But uh, I don't think we should keep talking too much longer because it is time to get a bait out right now. Let's do it. Right, uh, I'm going to be fishing two rods today, guys. I've got my... Uh, lighter outfit here the stealth rod and the 650 stealth reel that's spooled with 20 pound schneider line good surf fishing line now i'm a big fan of star sinkers in the surf where there's a lot of sweep there is a fair bit of sweep out there today so i'm going to go with the star sinker got on a little star sinker uh running swivel thingy i learnt this from the guys in wa i don't know why more people don't use it over here they're great for keeping your bait stationary where they would usually just get swept away now i've got a ball swivel there 50 pound trace and a two gang of six o's. We're going to be using some uh, some cut baits, some slab baits. So I've got some slimy mackerel, which I caught in that video with Shauno. I've got some tuna here, some bonito, and also a. Um, uh, oh, we got a couple of pillies as well. But I'm going to stick to the flesh baits. I think uh, Big Taylor absolutely love them. So that's my first outfit. Now my second outfit is another 650 stealth. Uh, on a slightly heavier rod, this is a 13 foot Regal, uh, two piece, it's a bit, got a bit more grunt, slightly bigger sinker. I've got the same rig though, two gang, uh, 50 pound trace, but that's got 25 pound on it. So that one I'm going to sit out there, uh, slightly bigger bait and just leave it in the holder and wait for it to go off. So hopefully uh, if we do hook onto something really big, it comes on the heavier outfit, but I tell you what, I'm super keen to put a bend in this lighter stealth rod. So I reckon it's going to dominate. And I reckon I'll be able to get a lot more distance on that one as well. But that's my two outfits who I'm going to be fishing with tonight. Um, once this sun goes down, it is going to be pretty difficult to film. So when we do get hookups and stuff, I'll turn my head torch on and we'll light it up that way. Uh, obviously, you'll still be able to hear audio, so I'll do plenty of talking and all that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, look, I'm going to get a bait out there right now and see if we can't run into a few fish. Before I get the bait out, I've got to show you this setup. Check out these. This is a Wanderer beach cart, and it makes beach fishing that much better. Look at that. 
I've got an esky in there. I've got all my camera gear. I've got my tackle, which I've just managed to chuck everywhere. Uh, water, drinks, fit a few beers in there. It's a whole lot easier than the old backpack style of things as well. I oh, know that backpack's been there for a million years. Just drag that along the beach and you're absolutely laughing. Even fits in your rod spikes. They fit in the side here so you can take them with you as well. A couple of stubby holders, also a good spot for the phones. Dead said, if you're keen about your uh, your beach fishing, grab yourself one because they are red hot. These are baits. I'm gonna split them in half. But I've only got the two six of those. I'm gonna split them in half like that. I'll probably use them uh, probably back to back actually, like this, just to make a bit chunkier bait. Uh, or put them on holes. So I'm gonna take a combination of both down in my, my uh, bait bucket. Yeah, trouble. Oh, I've got the bait bucket. Audio. It is time. Look at that gutter. It's low tide at the moment too, so that'll that'll fill in a heap more. You got that um that back bank you can see out the back there. Uh, nice deep hole and uh, some good white water coming across. So with a bit of luck, some big tailor patrolling along inside of that. They're keen to play the game. The trap is set. That doesn't have big tailor written all over it. I don't know or what does. Send it out there. Literally first car and we're into one. I can see him jumping away out the back there. And this is the first cast with the stealth rod. cast and we've got one already how good is that oh that's awesome well launched it out with the stealth rod I went oh yeah ready to go here wind wind took up the slack boom fish on we got to get another bait in the water because there might be a few of these guys around it is prime time you beauty all right let's get another bait out there rod is pretty well built for casting. Nice fast taper, you get a good cast with it. The way this gutter is, you see that back bank there and a bit of an out over here. It runs all the way along. Uh, you'd expect fish to be cruising up and down so you might get one, wait a bit and then get another one as the school moves back on a fourth. I 
don't know how much you guys can see at the moment. This guy just picked it up. Picked it up and ran straight towards me. Here he comes. Oh, he's only a little chopper. Just got him in the lip. He ran straight towards me and I, uh, I just managed to pin him. But it's a good sign. They're not super thick like that one hung around. That bait was out there for a little while and then he uh, come and got hit. But uh, it's good to see they're around. Hopefully as this night falls, they, uh, they get a bit better. He's still a nice fish. He'd probably get me up around 40 centimetres. He's still a nice chopper. But they get a lot bigger than that. Hopefully we can find some. Well, there you go. The Phantom put out a smaller bait and that is a little tar one. And he, ate, he ate one of these. He's eating a yabby. There's uh, a couple of yabbies left over from a session yesterday and uh, they're working a number out in the surf. You're fishing that, that's a lighter setup here. Yep. So that's Tez's dart rod which is a 625 Albi shallow spool and a, uh, it's a, a much lighter rod than you'd use for Taylor but cast a mile and it's uh it's working nicely done well the the yabby claims another victim have a go at that for a snodger whiting out in the surf at night that is a horse it'd be well over 30 centimeters the phantom's catching up two tailor to two uh bycatch or well, i guess it's not bycatch if bycatch. you target them oh come on whiting tailor what would you rather eat tailor smoked, <laughs> smoked tailor no, that's a cracking whiting yeah, Jeez, you get onto a school with them you'll be right he might go in the bag. He's coming for a feed, that one. For sure, nice fish. Yabbies are pulling a number on us. That's a, uh, not a bad brim. Smack the yabby. Tears putting on a clinic. I'm getting a few little touches here on the uh, slabs. Missing a few uh, tentative hits. No big smashes yet, but uh, there's probably a few brim around that might be the, the, uh, the culprits. Tez is uh, keeping him in check. Nicely done. They did. Well and truly went off the bite. And I think I lost another two baits. Didn't even feel the bite, so I assume they were little, little pickers. And that was it. So, back to the drawing board. Back home. And uh, I think we might pick this up again for the, uh, the next peak session. What an afternoon on the beach. How good is that? Nice gutter, tailor time. Well guys, good afternoon. We are continuing on the tailor segment. I wasn't happy enough with that session I did with Dad, so back out, the sun is just going down. Got me mate Luke here, he's here with us. Oh, he's on already, he's on already. We're just gonna have a quick spin, and then as soon as the sun drops down, Albies are coming out, and it is game time, I can't wait. Uh, that's a good sign though, first cast. Yoo! There we go, first cast, beautiful sunset happening right now. Where else would you rather be? Alright guys, so I'm fishing a popper just to see if I can sift out a few better fish but um, spinning is a really good way if you've got a bit of time just uh, to do a bit of scouting you can uh, quickly find out where fish are sitting and then attack them with bait a bit later on so yeah, I'm going to work this popper through it's actually a bit hard here the swell's making it a bit difficult but we've got a low tide coming up uh, pretty well an hour after dark so that's going to be good perfect for bait fishing and if there's already fish here well that's a good start but i don't mind chucking a lure around right on on dusk helps you to locate the fish and um then you've got a good spot to start once you start bait fishing yes oh no i dropped him talk to me luke that looks like a goodie. It looks like a goodie. Oh. Bit of foul play involved, you reckon? That's still a good sign. They're here. Oh, they're here? Yeah. Oh, he's still a nice fish. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah. Good eating size, that. Give us a look. Oh, if he settles down a little. Ah, chuck your hand in there. Have a go. Yeah, that worked out well last time, didn't it? Yeah. Actually, that's a good point. Last time Luke and I went tailor fishing, you ended up getting a uh, hook in it. I've got a bit of phone footage, I'll, uh, I'll cut that into the video. Got the tip through, we're just going to put the rest of it through there now. Ah. Sorry, mate. Wet. 
just about there. There we go. There we go. Not yet. One second. There we go. Oh, 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 we did it. Right -o. <laughs> so there we go, we've got the hook through now. All we gotta do is clip this. Just uh because we'll lose it, it'll go a million miles. And feed it back in. And then back she goes for free. Just a look. Oh you got sandy hands. <laughs> There we go. Oh, it feels absolutely better. There you go. Yeah, look, no. you really didn't miss. Look at that, smash the tail. That's tongue. why they call them Chopper Taylor. Chop the tail off every time. Lovely fish, mate. Well done. You, you're giving me a pants in here. Get in there. Come on, have a go. <laughs> All right. It's been an absolutely gorgeous afternoon. Absolutely gorgeous. Right at the edge there. I think he's only a little chopper. But hit here he comes here he comes nice oh he might be a better one oh hooks out too that's actually quite a nice fish he'd be uh, mid 40s it's a nice quality tailor you beauty and uh, that was on a little stick boat as well. This is a really good sign. The bait fishing is going to go bananas tonight, hopefully. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully some bigger models as well. If these guys are here now, then it's going to be good times. Mate, you can't be stopped. You can't. Oh, they're getting better. It's getting not, better. Not too bad. I've got one more in me, then the Alvi's coming out. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> and there you go, guys. Nice quality chopper tailor. Oh. What a time to be here. I love this stuff. I absolutely love it. But I'm really looking forward to the bait. If they're here eating stick baits now, I have a feeling the bait fishing is gonna be absolutely awesome in Sabo. Can't wait. Look at that, some prime bait there. Pre-prepared. Got some strips of bonito, we got some pilchards, we got the works. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. That will be the first bait there. Righto guys, the Alvi's coming out. I still haven't caught a good proper tailor on the stealth and stealth combo, so I'm pretty keen to do that tonight. Very similar rig you would have seen me use last time. Got a restricted ball sinker there, 50 pound trace, and gang of six O's. I'm using a slab of Bonito today. Um, I've also got pilchards and everything there, uh, but I'm gonna start on the Bonito. There seems to be a few fish out there, so I don't want to waste too much time talking now. I can talk to you after dark, but let's go out there and see if we can put the hooks into one straight up. Righto, so what I want to do is pretty well put this bait right at the edge of that white water out the back there. It's a bit of a cast, so I might not, might not get as close as I want, but the closer the better. And uh, this is definitely the rod to do it on. Long cast. Righto, let's send it. Not too bad. So what I'm hoping with this gutter in particular as the tide goes out, this is pretty well the out here. You can see the water sucking out there, but that back bank will come shallower and shallower and uh, the, the waves will pretty well all break on there there shouldn't be much follow through into the into the gutter and it should just spill white water in for the moment there's fish in here already so we should uh, should hopefully be able to pick one up pretty soon there we go oh no now I got him got him 
Just felt that little tap and uh, straight on that bait's been in the water. I'm just gonna wet the line. Bait's been in the water for like five minutes. Oh, he's jumping. Oh, this is awesome. There he is in the waves. That is awesome. Oh, he's taking a bit of line. He's not a terrible fish. I think he's just that same chopper class, but always, always good when they give a good account of themselves. And I reckon, oh, fingers crossed, and I really hope this is the case, but uh, they get better and better as the night goes on. You see me dipping the, um, tip in the water. That just keeps your line wet, so it slides through your fingers friction-free. Oh, no, let's get a look at him. Up the beach, up the beach. Oh, he's not that good, but he's uh, he's still a nice sized chopper. First cast with the bait. He's not a massive chopper, but he's a good fish. There you go, gang's in the corner of the mouth. He smacked that bit of bonito, and uh, game on. Again, I'm gonna strike while the iron's hot here. The, uh, the fish are in this gutter, so we're gonna give them a reason to stay, get plenty of commotion, plenty of baits out there, and see if we can't get a few. A bit of luck, these big boys will turn up later on. You beauty, that's a great start. Rocket it out to the back bank, you ripper. And already we've got a decent little feed together there. There's a uh, there's five Taylor in the in the bag already. You beauty. Oh no. Let's get this bait back out there, see if we can go two from two. So this is where the beauty of algae's come in now. Because there's a bit of swell, pretty well constantly adjusting your bait. You're always moving it a little bit, keeping tension, releasing tension as waves pull in and out. It's not so important on a, um, on a you know, no swell night when it's crystal, uh, crystal, crystal calm, when it's dead calm, but on a day like today where there's a lot of water moving around, you really want to be doing those adjustments, keeping in contact with your bait, because a lot of the times these fish are just a little subtle tap and running towards you. And uh, yeah, sorry, I was, I was getting a little bump then. A little subtle tap coming towards you, and it's uh, that's all you get. You miss that, it's uh, game over, baited. Oh. oh, I missed him. Oh, I missed him. Bugger. belted it and I got nothing but memories of that fish absolutely nothing but memories sticking with the bonito at this stage first two hits have come from it so why change what's working what I will do I need a tip for young players Make sure you take the tension off your swivel and let your rig spin every time you wind in. That allows you to get rid of some of the line twist. And uh, will probably save you a bit of heartache later on. Got him. Yes. Got that one. I don't feel real big. He's run towards me at the moment. That's what I'm really enjoying about this um, stealth rod actually is it's really responsive so you can feel these hits which are Usually a bit harder to, to feel on the on the uh, kind of slower taper rods. Oh, he's jumping. He's jumping. Where is he? There he is. Oh, flying up. Oh, he's a jumper. He's actually not a bad fish by the looks. A bit of weight there. Yeah, he's a nice tailor. Yes. It's a real nice tailor. That'd be a, a 50 for sure. That's a lovely fish. 
Real nice fish. Well, that is a much better tail. He'd probably be into the 50s. He just smacked it and uh, he ran towards me, then he played up in the shallows, but lovely, lovely fish. Just pinned him too, look at that. Just pinned him. That's why you gotta have sharp hooks and, uh, and be quick on the hook set because they grab it and run, and if you miss them, then that's your chance gone. So, we got lucky with that guy. Hopefully they keep on getting bigger, but that's a good start. All right, guys, you're probably not gonna be able to see much at all here. Uh, the sun has gone down, it is dark, but the fish are still chewing and I'm hoping they're gonna get even more ferocious now that it's dark and that tide's coming, so. Still doing the same thing, fishing baits. But just, uh, yeah. Waiting for a bite now. Quite brisk too. I've got my wetsuit bottoms on and that was an absolute great call because it is quite cool. I just got a real nice fish. Then I'll, uh, I'll have to go up the beach and, and show you on the other camera, but he's a real nice fish. Well, that is a proper one. That's a really nice fish. And look at the hook in the top of the head. They just come through, belted it, and I just pinned him through the top of the head. I don't know how I got lucky, but that is a, uh, that's probably a kilo and a half a tailor. Definitely not as big as they get, but that is a beautiful specimen. It's what we come and fish the beach at night for. And hopefully they just continue to get better and better from here. That is an absolute ripper. They are giving us a bit of hard time. Luke and I both missed multiple fish uh, where they're just hitting it and running towards you before you can even set the hooks. But that guy there, that's an indication of the quality of the surround. We're in for a really good night. That is a ripper. You beauty. There we go. Finally got one on bait. They're, uh, as Sam said a while ago, they're proven very tricky. But there are some good quality fish out there still. Now that is a tailor. Woo! That is a cracker. Oh, no, oh. oh, we're going up. That is a really nice fish. That's got to be a couple of kilos, maybe a touch more. He's a, he's a nice fish. And he was going absolutely nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. That's awesome. Have a go at that. That is a proper tailor. That is a greenback. That's a real one. The first big tailor on the uh, on the stealth rod, and I'll tell you what, he put up a fight too. Charging back and forth, took a bit of line, and then slugged it out in the shore dump. That is what you come out at night for. I'm really, really happy with that. That's my first good tailor of the season, hopefully the first of many, but uh, definitely no complaints. That is an absolute stonker. 62 centimeters, you ripper. Woohoo! Well guys, that was an insane, an insane night on the beach, Arvo night. Uh, I don't know how many we caught. Oh, I lost count. Yeah. We, um, I think we kept 10 or 12 for a feed and then chucked all the rest back. Got two really nice ones there and um, plenty of, of good sized choppers as well. Didn't get any monsters, but uh, that uh, 62, that was the icing on the cake for me. I'm very, very happy and pretty stoked to put the rod through its paces. Luke, anything to add? No, no, better, better size than last session. So, I don't know. Still got to figure out that bite, though. Yeah, yeah, we didn't miss a few. Up. We got to, we got to sharpen the pencil a bit. We're, uh, they're, they're doing us a bit, but we'll, uh, we'll get the hang of it even more. Yep. Now, um, Luke was telling me we're just standing there having to fish the last cast. Now, there's a wicked story behind this, this reel, this old Alvy here. Uh, yeah. We're not going to tell you now, it is freezing cold. I really can't feel my <laughs> fingers. We look pretty rugged up. Uh, I think the uh, the memo was out for the red jackets. That was uh, that was successful. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, we will tell you the story tomorrow when we're filling it up, filleting up a few fish. Uh, you know it's getting cold when you, you can't really talk anymore. So that is enough from us to Savo. Very, very successful Arvo. Night, fun times, super fun, happy. Excellent, mad times. <laughs> Wrap it up, mate. Wrap it up. <laughs> Wrap it up. <laughs> Pretty hungry too, haven't had dinner, so. <laughs> yeah. I think we earned ourselves a beer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Beer and some food. Yeah. Let's get into it. Woo! Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, time to crack a beer and fill it some fish. Epic night session. Um, one of the better ones we've had. Yeah. De definitely in the recent recent times. Came together for us there. Eh? Oh, didn't it what? Yeah. 
it's obviously really hard to film at night, so mm -hmm. you wouldn't have seen most of the fish we caught because you know they're just normal sized choppers. And we we'll, we got to the stage we kept enough for a feed, and then we are uh, we're releasing a lot as well. But uh, I'll tell you what, I reckon we would have easily landed between us maybe 30 fish. Yeah, we would have had to have been. There was, a, there was a moment there when it just went absolutely bananas, which is awesome. And um, it was a fish cast, or at least a hit a cast, if you were good enough to hook them. They were playing silly buggers, but um, oh, yeah. we, we got baited a fair, our fair share of times, but we had a really good time. Now, one thing I did want to do is Luke has one of possibly the best Alvi stories you'll ever hear. Now, you would have heard <laughs> Tez's story in the, um, in the first session we did, the story about his old Alvi. Um, I think just about everyone has an old Alvi story. Luke, mate, this is a pearl, I tell us. Here we go. So this is the old fiberglass model, Alvi. I don't even know what year that is. Aluminium but, um... backed. Like stainless. Stainless, like, sorry, yeah, stainless yeah, back. Yeah, no, don't get aluminium with Alvi. No, Come that's on. right, that's right. Um, so I actually got this off my dad and told him... Shout you know, out to Lou Cicado if you're watching. Oh, he, he might, he might tune in. He'll tune in, Sundays <laughs> with Sammy, he's there. And um, started having a chat to him about how I'm starting to use it a bit more, doing some tailor fishing with Sammy, and he said, yeah, actually, that's a reel I got from my grandfather passed down to me. He just couldn't believe it, who uh, actually turned out to be... Yeah, Lord Mayor of Brisbane back in the day. So it's done the rounds this reel, that's so for sure. This is the ex Lord Mayor of Brisbane's personal Alvi. Yeah. I would hate to think how many Taylor and beaches oh. it's been on over the years. Yeah. But it just goes to show they are a dead set of life purchase. Um, there are some fantastic stories going on behind every Alvi. There's a, there's a story or two. So if you do have an old one, make sure you follow up its heritage. See who owned it first and see what they use it for. I guarantee you'll run into something cool because you never knew that, did you? No, never knew it until I had that chat and look, still catching fish. And even, even cooler, after grabbing that reel, did your old man not say, oh, I wouldn't mind coming out for a go? He actually did, yeah. So I think I'm going to lose this reel. <laughs> actually, what, what we're talking about, we're just doing a bit of a clean up as well. This is the, the one I'm using, obviously, the, the new Stealth. And um, I, I showed Luke before, and the first thing he says is, geez, it's light, uh, which is one thing they really do have in, in their favor. Compared to the old ones, they're probably, I reckon my whole outfit weighs about as much as much as that one. If not lighter. <laughs> if not lighter, <laughs> which is pretty handy, but will you be entering the comp? Oh, well, I think if my old man's gonna steal it back, I'm gonna have to, but why wouldn't I? <laughs> why wouldn't you? Exactly. So, if you've forgotten about it, guys, there is a comp, and I'll give you all the details at the end of this. Brand spanking new 650 Stealth is up for grabs off the back of this video, so make sure you hang around and find out the details. But we're gonna do a bit of a fill it up. We're gonna show you all the fish we caught, because I wanna show you the, those two crackers. Um, when you put big tail up next to normal size tail, it makes normal size tail look really, really small. So. We're gonna get them all out and uh, we'll have a bit of a chat then. Now to get an idea of size, that dart's 40. These choppers here, they're all about 45 and then you look at it compared to this dog and it's like double the mass. Big Taylor are just a different beast. He makes the 40, uh, 52 look small. That's a 52. These guys are all kind of high 40s. They're all, all really nice fish. Um, Obviously, we could have gone to town and kept 20. Uh, we didn't need to. We got plenty for a feed here. I'm going to chuck some in the smoker, have a bit fresh tonight. Little dart here. This is a bit of bycatch. That was a 40 centimeter dart. Uh, on gangs, they're pretty hard to hook, but uh, if you were fishing for them, probably could have had a bit of a time on the dart too. But yeah, some really nice quality fish, which is awesome to see. And uh, some great feeds coming up. <laughs> Not a bad haul. 
some uh, fresh fillets for tea. And that's one of the beauties of tail fishing. They have plenty of meat on them. It's good chewing. Uh, I'm gonna have some fresh in the smoker. How are you doing yours? Yeah, fresh tonight as well. Straight on the, straight on the pan actually. No seasoning? A little bit, just L a hint. Just a, yeah. one of these ones? Certainly no deep frying or anything. And I think that's what I might do tonight. Ooh, bit of beer nice. batter. Bit of, bit of a frothy. You can have it manually and you can have it on your fish as well, just <laughs> to make sure you get that beer flavoring through. But uh, we've got a bit of cleaning up to do, so I'll have a chat to you a bit later on. I don't know. We'll chat soon, don't you worry about it. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, let's get into it. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, me too. Guys, the smoke up was a raging success. Have a go at this. I've got a couple of Tupperware containers of beautiful smoked tailor now. On a cracker, bit of cheese and a beer. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Or even smoko, a bit of cream cheese, smoked fish on top on a rice cake or rice bin, whatever they're called. Absolutely unreal. And I've been playing around with a new pasta recipe incorporate some smoked fish into that. Uh, it's looking good so far. I haven't perfected it just yet, so it's not catch and cook worthy just yet, but hang tight because it'll be ready, hopefully in the next few months after I uh, perfect it, and we'll do a full on catch and cook and I'll show you guys how to do it. Now guys, the moment you've all been waiting for, how do you win one of these for yourself? The new Stealth Reel from Albi. Well, it is super simple. All you have to do is head over to Albi's Instagram page, the details on how to find that will be in the description below. I'll also put the little at symbol at the bottom of this video. You should be seeing it right now. I don't know where I am on the screen, but hopefully below there. Go to Albie's Instagram, look for this photo, and follow the details underneath. They are a fantastic beach fishing reel. Plenty of other applications as well that you can use these for. So if you do want to get in the draw to win one yourself, head over, follow all the details, follow Albie on Instagram, and uh, you'll be in the running to win one of these Kraken reels. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the beach fishing action as much as I enjoyed going out there and filming it. And I can tell you right now, this will not be the last Taylor video you see for the winter. I am planning on doing heaps and heaps more and I want to catch some really, really big ones this year. So I'm going to be putting in plenty of efforts. Uh, even if you didn't enjoy it, too bad because we're going to be showing you heaps more Taylor action to come. Well, guys, that's all we've got time for this week. If you like to learn something, make sure you hit that like button. Leave us a comment below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because there's plenty more fishing action to come every single Sunday at 4 p.m. new video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the community. Guys, hope you're out there getting a few fish yourself. Hope everyone's well. Hope everyone's safe. Until next week, have a good one, guys. Catch you later.